All right, good evening everyone and welcome to this ICT basics video on the inverted fair value gap. So the inverted fair value gap is simply a buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency or a sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency that the price has traded through and then will end up using as resistance on the way back down. So let's see if I can find some clean examples of inverted fair value gaps. Okay, this is a good one. So we're on a five minute time frame, guys. You can see that at the uh, top, the top left. And you first off, you need to be able to identify what, okay, like what is a fair value gap, right? A fair value gap is this three candle pattern with the high of candle one being at 621 evens and the low of candle three being at 632 quarters. You can see that price what it does is it trades through this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency and so it re-delivers that price back to the sell side and then when it comes back up just above uh, the low of candle number one notice that that fair value gap uh, as it trades through and it trades back up notice that becomes resistance and then the, and then the market shoots down to sell side liquidity guys that is the inverted fair value gap it is when price trades through trades back up into it and then shoots lower um, to attack to attack sell side liquidity. Now let me see if I can find an example. That's a that's a, a Bissy that inverted. Now let me see if I can find an example of a Sibby that inverted. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is this is good enough. So here we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Well, actually, I already had one drawn out. So Notice uh, during the regular trading hours today on Thursday that the price traded through created this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency. Now notice that when price comes back up to it, um, that's actually that's not an inverted fair value gap. That is just a fair value gap. Um, so I actually said that one wrong. Um, let me give you an example of an actual SIBI that inverted right here. So notice that when the price trades through the sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency, right here, notice the closes of these candles. What are they respecting? The high of that candle over here. Okay, That is a sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency that inverted, meaning the price traded through it, back to it, and then found support on it. So guys, Basically, when you see that the sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, when it trades through and then trades back, and so it, it inverts, right? Let me see if I can find another, a cleaner example. Right there. There's an inverted fair value gap. So notice that we get this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, the price trades up through it, back down to it and it inverts. So rather than rather than the price coming up to it and, and finding a resistance and turning back lower, it inverts and uses it as support after trading through it. So that was an inverted fair value gap there on a five minute chart. Okay. So the basic idea with an inverted, value, uh, inverted fair value gap is that the price will trade through it, back to it, and find it as support or resistance. Okay. So the inverted fair value gap is when do you when do you know that the market is going to invert the fair value gap rather than treat it as immediate support or resistance? Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. It sometimes you just don't know and you have to wait to see what the market is doing. Um, but some of the factors you can look at is okay, is it a macro time? Um, where's my liquidity pools? Uh, does it look like the market is drawing lower? Do you does it look like the market is drawing higher? Okay, what time of the day is it? Do we have a macro that is active or do we not? Um, you can pair it with an order block, but guys, ultimately, 
The only way you can really know whether a fair value gap is going to act as immediate support or resistance or price is going to trade through it and then invert it is really just waiting to see what the market does. So for example here, let's say that we've got this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency that I've got drawn out here. As I see that the price is trading back through it, if the market decides, okay, we're just going to use this as immediate support and go back up, that would just be a normal fair value gap, right? It kind of looks like that's what price wants to do. Okay, but let's say that let's say that the market's not done going lower. We trade below, come back up, trade back down. Okay, that would be an example of this five-minute BISI inverting. And as of right now, I, I think that we are just going to use it as immediate support and, and, and draw back, make a new high, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and the truth be told, guys, is that you really won't be 100% on whether these fair value gaps are going to invert or not until you see what the market is doing. But you can use some factors, some context to give you, um, to give you a clue. Look at, where the, look at where the candles are closing. Like here, that's kind of a good sign that we're probably just going to use it as immediate support and we're not going to invert it. Now that 15 minute fair value gap, on the other hand, the price uh, drew up into it and then notice right, notice right there. So you can see um, that that fair value gap there was acting as, as resistance. But so that 15 minute fair value gap, let's say that price trades up to it, down to it, and does like that that would be an inverted 15 minute fair value gap. It hasn't done that yet. So, okay guys, basically, do you know when a fair value gap is gonna act as immediate support and resistance and when it's gonna invert? You don't really know. I mean, I, I have not found a way to actually know for sure, but you can, you can use some context clues basically and watch what the market is doing. And if it looks like it's drawing to buy side or if it looks like it's drawing to sell side, you can kind of have a, an educated guess. But no, you really won't know until you actually watch what the price is doing. Um, but you can make educated guesses. Like if it's the right time of the day, if it's a macro time, uh, then, you know, you, you should make a better guess. So, all right, guys, uh, remember that all of ICT's patterns can invert. OK, so just like you have a normal fair value gap, if price trades through it, trades back up to it, it can be an inverted fair value gap. So. Anyways, guys, um, in this video, we covered the ICT inverted fair value gap. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Bye-bye.